uh, I want to welcome myself into your homes um, since I'm probably on the TV somewhere, whether that's in your living room or kitchen or basement, wherever you guys are all meeting together. Um, I just want to say thank you for staying engaged with what we have going on at the Foundry. Um, and before we jump into the regular questions, I want you to take a look at the icebreaker. Eric talked about uh, dangerous road conditions, and we are already in October, in mid-October, and it is not going to be far before those roads in Michigan are awful slippery. Um, and regardless, wherever you are, you maybe know what slippery roads look like. I know when I was in high school, uh, it would drive my sister nuts because anytime we would be driving to school and there'd be slippery roads, um, I'd have a truck that was rear, 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 rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So anytime I'd go around a corner, I would just gun it and my back end would come around. I loved slippery road conditions. It was fantastic. Um, maybe you have other stories that were not as fantastic as that. Maybe you're hitting some things or whatnot. Um, share with your group about what, what kind of fun stories you have. All right, question number one. Um, do you remember a time, so think back to middle school, do you remember a time when you made a fool of you, yourself? Uh, for some of you, this is a long time ago. Others of you, it isn't so long ago. But talk about a time where you may have made a fool of yourself in middle school. For me, there were so many times in middle school that I made a fool of myself. That was uh, fairly common, maybe an hourly thing for me. Um, but middle school shame is, is a real thing, right? It's a real thing. But at this point, not many people think back to those times and think, oh, why did I do that? But what about those times that we really messed up outside of middle school? What about those times that we really messed up? Maybe even done things that we consider unforgivable. Um, do you hold on to anything? Do you hold on to anything specific where you would consider it unforgivable? Question number three, let's think back to our icebreaker question where we're on those slippery roads, talking about stories of that, and you're, you often overcompensate in a direction, right? Is there anything in your life, think about how we overcompensate for things in our life. Is there a way that you overcompensate for shame? Next question, how is your life different when you are focused on the shame of your past versus when you're focused on what Jesus has done for you? Question number five, um, I would often use the verse uh, from Hebrews 12 verses one, um, joking around with my buddies. I ran cross country in high school and if we were ever too slow, I'd be like, guys, I think we have to throw off anything that hinders us, right? That's what the Bible says. And I mean, our track costumes were already fairly, fairly limited. So it's like, yep, that, let's just throw off everything that hinders us. That will make our time slower. But I, I don't think that's actually what Paul was trying to reference here in Hebrews. I'm going to read this a minute. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. How does that verse speak to you specifically? And here's the last question. What things hinder you that you need to get rid of so that you can run the race that God has set before you? All right, everybody, that is it for our normal questions. If you have time and want to jump into our Digging Deeper questions, um, we'd love for you to do that. There is some questions kind of answering the question of if someone would come up to you and say, you know, I feel like 
I have done some things that are not even forgivable. They're the unforgivable sins. Um, Maybe you're struggling with some of those things or you have a friend struggling with some of those things. Get into those digging deeper sections and I hope um, you can put some language uh, that the Bible gives us to answer those questions. But if not, no big deal. Spend some time together, hang out, um, and we'll see you guys next week.